Hey guys, Jake from Mac Kites. Today I'm here to talk to you about pump hoses. Not the most glamorous topic in the world, but something we get asked a lot about. So let's get right into it. Right here on the far left, we've got the original WMFG hose. Uh, and this was a pretty standard hose for a couple years ago. Uh, fairly rigid, um, not a lot of flexibility. Uh, what people found is when they wrapped it around their pump, uh, it had a tendency to break after a season or two. Um, so in response to that, brands move to this flexi hose. Uh, immediately when you get this in your hands, it has a much more tactile, uh, pliable feeling. Uh, and you can certainly bend it a lot more than your traditional rigid hose. Um, despite feeling awesome, the big problem with this hose was it still had a tendency to fail. Uh, and actually being able to bend it more uh, resulted in a much higher failure rate. Uh, what ended up happening is when you bent this right here, the plastic actually separated, kind of like an accordion, uh, which made it really difficult to repair, especially with this kind of sticky material right here. Uh, it just wasn't as reliable as repairing older hoses. Uh, so brands ended up going back to the older, more rigid style hose. Here we have the PKS version and the WMFG. You'll notice they're almost identical. The big difference being how they attach to the kite. WMFG has this screw on attachment. Uh, this is gonna work on all of their pumps as well as a lot of uh, sup pumps out there that have that same fitting. Uh, the PKS hose right here uh, has a bayonet fitting and that has two little posts. So when you are replacing your hose, uh, look and make sure what attachment you have so you get the properly fitting hose. Um, this is gonna be a more rigid style. However, right here, there's gonna be more grooves. So if we take the original version of the hose and line it up, you can see right there that the newer hoses um, are essentially going to have more of these ribbons and that's going to give it a little bit more flexibility and it's gonna give it more durability in the long run. Um, both of these hoses have just a very standard attachment here at the end. Um, so you'll be able to put all sorts of different fittings on them depending on what kite you're flying. So when you get your hands on these hoses, uh, you're gonna notice it's not as tactile as that flexible hose that you're used to. However, this is gonna be a more durable hose. Uh, one tip for you guys is when you are putting your hose away, don't wrap it around your pump, don't leave it attached, unhook it, generally let it go right back into this kind of trifold. set that in your kite bag. That's gonna extend the longevity of the hose. Uh, with both of these pumps, they do come with replacement hoses, so if you do happen to damage the hose, you can tape it, which is always great from a sustainability standpoint. When that no longer works, buy a new hose. They're 20 bucks a piece, and it's going to keep your pump going. Hey guys, thanks for checking us out. This has been Jake at Matt Kite.